Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms. And I've got a resource pack that I'm using at the moment. Um, if you can't tell just from looking around. Uh, this is the B00 texture pack, and I'm not planning on using this texture pack uh, long term. Although I do want to use it. Uh, in this episode to kind of illustrate a point and kind of talk a little bit about texture packs as a whole because I've been kind of kicking around the idea of playing through uh, of using a texture pack for kingdoms and in fact uh, one very very similar to this one um, in fact some of the textures would probably be taken directly from this texture pack because one thing uh, I will say, a lot of you know that I'm, uh, that I draw a lot of inspiration from B00 and that I've learned a lot about my building style from B00 and things like that. Uh, and he uses a texture pack, which, you know, say what you will about, um, copying or whatever. Uh, but the point is this. I've been, pl I've been thinking about using a texture pack for a very, very, very long time. And I've just never really been able to find a texture pack that was exactly what I wanted. Uh, and even even this one, which is probably my favorite texture pack that I've ever played with, uh, this, even this one isn't perfect. Uh, there are things that I absolutely love about it, like the logs. I love the log texture. This very slight darkening in the corners just makes it so much, uh, so much better. I just, <laughs> I love the log texture. Uh, and I like the plank texture and some of the other things. Uh, there are things in this texture pack that I absolutely love. There are also some things in this texture pack that I really don't love as much. Um, so, if I were to play with a texture pack, it would be one that I would create myself using some textures borrowed from other packs, like this one for example, and some textures that I would actually create myself. Like this mossy cobble, I would probably redo this and darken the green a little bit, but not, uh, but not make it that super sad. It would basically match the mossy, uh, the mossy stone brick, uh, for the green, and this doesn't quite do that. This is too light. Um, but, like, other things that I don't really care for, the fact that chests and trap chests are a different tone. I don't like that very much. Uh, I wish they were the same, although I don't mind the, I don't mind the spruce. Um, essentially what I would do, if I were to make a texture pack... Uh, and use a texture pack, it would, my goal, my idea of a perfect texture pack is one that you have to stare at, uh, you have to stare at the game for a few minutes before you suddenly realize, oh, it, is there a texture pack applied? Like, that's my idea of a perfect texture pack, one that you can barely even tell is there, one that just slightly cleans up the vanilla textures a little bit, like with the logs and like with the, uh, the planks here, and I think a lot of the textures within this resource pack do that. Um, some of them, not so much. Like, the iron door texture I don't really care for. Um, you know, some of that kind of stuff. And, on the other hand, I would also use it to, um, essentially fix a couple textures in vanilla. Like, I really like the trap door texture in this pack. In this, uh, pack. Uh, the window texture, for example, I think is pretty good. There's certain things that I would keep, and certain things that I would get rid of and certain things that I would make myself. But the goal would be not to fundamentally change the feeling of vanilla, just to kind of clean it up a little bit and use it for this series. And I personally kind of like the idea, but I want to get your opinion on it as well, because I do want this to be kind of our uh, experience. It's, you know, it's a let's play. It's not a I play, it's a let's play. So I want to get your guys' opinion on it and see what you think. Um, and... Some of the textures would be from here, some of them would be made myself, some of them might be taken from other packs. I'd probably have the uh, the skies from Halcyon Days that I love so much, although I can't do that until we actually have Optifine, uh, which probably won't happen until 1.10 actually comes out. We'll have to see. But in today's episode, what I want to do is I want to work a little bit on this tower, and I did some work between, between episodes, as you can see, when you last left me, uh... The roof was not completely done, although the framework was there. Uh, so I, fi I finished up the roof, um, I put windows in all along the thing, and I added a flag. And the flag 
is white, gray, and black. And I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it's certainly not a... Uh, it's not meant to be, like, a super... Uh, it's not supposed to have, like, an emblem of any kind. It's really just representing the colors. And I think white, black, and gray are actually pretty good colors for this area. Um, mostly because white, black, and gray is what I have at the moment. Uh, and I have access to, so that's what we're going with. But I really think they complement the lore as well. Yes. It's, it's totally about the lore. It's not about the fact that I'm too lazy to go get sheep of other colors. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I did some more work on the uh, on the tower. I like the I, I really like the roof on this tower. I think it looks really good. Um, and I think it fits the, the rest of the village very nicely. So, what I want to do in today's episode is I'd like to kind of work on the interior of this tower. Uh, well, not just the tower, but the whole thing a bit and do some of the design and detail work, because some of this looks pretty good, and some of this doesn't really look so good. So I'd kind of like to work on that a little bit, and I think we can accomplish that. So let me go get some building materials, let me start working on a couple things and working out some ideas, and I'll come back to you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to work out some of the interior here, as I said, and I think the first thing I want to do is kind of section off a couple rooms. I kind of want this to be a room right here, I think. Uh, maybe... Maybe we'll put the door right here instead. Yeah, and I've been watching some stuff and trying to learn uh, how to be better at interiors, because um, I would say probably the, the thing, when, when it comes to building, the thing that I'm probably worst at is probably interiors. <laughs> it's not really my strong point. I'm not completely horrible at them, but I'm not exactly great at them either. Um, so I think what we're going to do is essentially kind of divide this building into smaller spaces, and then we're going to do what we can to fill those spaces, and I think that will essentially help us learn a little bit about... Oh, come on now. There we go. Uh, help us learn a little bit about kind of the, the interior design process, which I think is kind of an important thing. Now here, we've got a few potential issues. Uh, this definitely needs to be hidden, um, and we can do that. We've also got a potential second floor up here. And we're going to need a staircase to get up there if we do decide to do a second floor. So let's just kind of... I wish we could do a staircase like that. That would be so cool. Um, but also not possible, unfortunately. So... Maybe, maybe we start a staircase. I need a crafting table. <laughs> let's, let's just put one of these guys down. There we go. And first and foremost, let's make a few slabs so that we can put those up here. Because I think that's pretty good for this room. I don't know what this room is actually going to be used for yet, but I like it. Uh, let's also get the torches up off the... Or maybe we'll put it here instead. Yeah, we'll get the torches kind of up off the the ground. Obviously, we don't want torches just kind of chilling on the ground. Uh, there we go. Maybe do that. And then we need to figure out how we're going to get up there. Let's put a torch up there just so nothing spawns. So, stairways. Stairways are kind of one of those tricky things in Minecraft that, honestly, I kind of struggle with. Um, I'm not great at them. There's a lot of people out there who are way, way better at stairs than I am. Um, but this might work. Possibly. That, I mean, it would essentially be... I mean, that leads up to this space. Maybe that's the only space we actually need to have. And then we'd have, like, basically a full block here. And then kind of just bring those up. 
and then this is a door. So you get access to this space up here. Yeah, that's actually not bad. That's not too bad anyway. I think we can do better though. I'd really like to, although I like this open feeling that you get in this room. Hmm. Let's try something else. Let's try maybe bringing some rafters across here. Like this. Just a couple of these, these beams. And then let's try switching these right here. So then the beams kind of carry through, or it, it kind of looks like they do anyway. Like that, right? Because this is a beam here? Yep. And it will get the same effect, but the beam essentially looks like it's carrying all the way through, which I think I like a little bit better. That's not bad. And then maybe we do a beam that comes through here as well. And you can't see right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That feels good. And then up here, we'll just have to kind of section this whole thing off. Like so. Ooh, and actually... There's a thought. Where does this come out? Ooh, I know how we're gonna do it. I know, oh man, I'm a genius. Not really, uh, but it's gonna work. So essentially what we're doing here is we're just creating a way to get over and into this space so we can make use of it. See what I'm saying? Just little things. And then what we can do is we can put our torches here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking this already. Uh, okay, let's get rid of that. This one I don't think we can get rid of, can we? No. Um, put that guy back. So we can't get rid of this, although we could replace it with stairs. Like so. And then do something like that, maybe. I'm just trying to kind of work this out in such a way that I like it. And I think that looks good. That looks pretty good. Okay. We also need windows right here. So we'll do stair, stair. And we'll do the same right here. So we'll have two high windows that'll kind of match the rest of the place. I don't think I have any glass. Do I have any glass on me? No, I don't. It's back in the storage room. Okay, let me see what else I can work out here, guys. And I'll come back to you in just a sec. All right, guys, I am back. So I think we've got most of this worked out uh, as far as the interior structural elements. I like the way that the ceiling feels. I like the flow of the build, how we have kind of this little room, this little side room here, and then this area. Remember we said that this was going to be kind of a, a town hall, a meeting hall, a, a, almost a mead hall. Not so much for governmental purposes where they would, you know, have... Uh, meetings about laws and councils and that but more of a place where the people of the vi of uh ultum can kind of get together and have a beer and discuss things and you know stuff like that um so downstairs i think is kind of going to be the social area so we'll have a couple tables over here uh where people can kind of you know share some drinks and things like that um maybe in fact we can probably do some of that right now. Let's just put this crafting table back and let's just make a couple of oak stairs because we want to use a different furniture color. And we can maybe do something like this. Oh, those stairs connect. Oh, 
That's not good. Okay. Well, in that case, maybe... Maybe we'll do this? I hate how symmetrical this is gonna be, though. Come on, now. That's pretty... That's... That's too symmetrical. You know what we could do, though? We could do this. You, you, and stare. Nah, I don't really like that either. This works. This one works out fine. Maybe we make this a four, a table for four. And then here, maybe we do a table for three? You know, just, and yes, it's very, very cramped in here, and honestly, I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that really kind of cramped feeling. I don't think that's a bad thing for this particular building, because it's not a very big building to begin with. So, yeah. Um, in fact, we could even put another table right here. So you kind of walk in. And there's all these tables kind of all over the place, and you can barely walk around without bumping into somebody, which I think is fine. Like, that's okay. Um, I like it. I like it a lot, in fact. Uh, let's move our torches up onto the walls, as we've talked about. Let's maybe do that. I think that should still have enough light in all the important places. We'll put some torches here. In fact, can we just leave them? Will that shed enough light? I think it will, that this will be spawn safe. I hope so. I guess we'll find out. I guess we will find out. Yeah, top, top level of the window. Okay. And then we come up here. And this is where we're going to have to kind of work some things out as well. So let's get our lighting in place. And we might do some... I don't know what we want to use this space for, in fact. I haven't really decided. Um, it's almost kind of a lookout tower, you know, that looks out all over the surrounding countryside. Um, but... And I like the shape of the room, I just don't know what we actually are going to use it for, if anything. I mean, we, well, we'll use it for something, but if you have a suggestion for that, please, by all means, let me know. So we got that going. Now, this little room over here, I think it makes sense that this is kind of a... kind of like a greeting room, if you will. Um, you know, this is the, the room where people would kind of come in and dump off maybe their cloaks, you know what I mean? They, they come into, the, to, into here to, you know, kind of get a drink and whatever, and... First, first thing they do is kind of step off into the side room and just kind of put us put aside their their uh, their gear, their garments and stuff like that. So, um, I think this torch is fine right there. We got a couple of crafting benches back behind. Let's maybe make well furnaces don't make a whole lot of sense. We got this little area. That's interesting, but I don't know what it would be. Maybe we'll put a couple of armor stands right here. I like that idea. Just a couple. A couple of armor stands, and... I smelted up some bricks so we can have plants, because that's always an important thing. And let's go grab some smooth stones so we can make armor stands. And then some saplings of some sort. Is that really all the smooth stone I have? Wow. Man, I am running low. I'm running very low. Let's just make that much. I highly doubt I'm going to have more than 12 armor stands in this build. Uh, and honestly, I kind of doubt I'm going to have 12, but that's fine. Okay, there we go. And saplings, let's maybe grab some... I actually, I really like birch saplings, believe it or not. As a, um, as a, like a, a detail. I think they look really good in flower pots. They're, in fact, they're probably my favorite thing. Which is really surprising, considering how much I dislike birch. <laughs> so, the fact that I like the saplings so much is kind of funny. 
but you know, it's all right. Uh, let's also grab, do, how many leaves do I have? I was just looking. Three, 63 spruce leaves. Okay, we can make that work. We can use some spruce leaves in this build, I think. Do some of that in the interior, in the inside. And I think that'll look good. Oh, and beds. I want beds. Uh, although I just remembered that B00 changed the bed texture uh, and made it like a gray. And I am not a huge fan of that, but um, let's just grab enough for th three beds. That should be good. Okay, so I was losing. I lost track of of my train of thought. Uh, yes, I remember. Okay, so let's go in here and first and foremost, let's make a couple of armor stands. So, well, actually, before we do that, we got to make some sticks. So let's just make a handful of those. Put down our stone slabs. And let's make like two for now. That should be fine. And then we'll just put those right here. So you kind of come in, you've got armor stands here where you can hang up your coat. You've got a little chest to put your stuff. And that looks good. Okay. Then up here... I'm going to need some beds. I, I'd really like to get some paintings in here as well. Uh, which is going to be a little bit harder because paintings obviously do not... Uh, or they require wool as well. And we don't have a whole lot of wool. Um, but I think maybe we'll put a bed there and a bed there. Oh, I must be using... Maybe he... Oh, you know what? I don't think he's actually put that update out yet. I think he's changed the texture in his in his series, but it's not in this version of the pack. Um, and I would probably change the bed texture, but I wouldn't change it much. I think I would probably just make the the red a little bit less in your face, if you will, if that makes sense. Um, but we'll put a couple of beds there. Maybe a log here is like a little bedside table. And we'll have, I think we'll have these two rooms be kind of identical. Uh, and then here we could maybe do like a little seating area. Couple of, couple of seats. Put down a thing like that. Maybe put a, a pressure plate on top of it. Just for a little, you know, little seating area. Just right here. And that's a stair, so I can't put a torch there. Uh, we can put torches here though. That'll keep this all lit up. So that looks good. That's not bad. Okay. Now, I don't have the crafting bench with me anymore. Let's make some flower pots. Beautiful. And where do we want to put these? And actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's maybe put... Eh, that's too much. That's too much. Let's do this instead. Let's go with some slabs like this instead. Or maybe maybe just right here. Maybe we just put like one little slab right here with like a little fern in it. That looks all right. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And then we can do that. So you got kind of this little cubby. <laughs> I kind of like that. Maybe we'll do this instead, just to kind of break up the shape a little bit. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I like it. Okay, so little little details. Kind of an important thing. You know, sometimes you can put some of that stuff on the floor. I don't particularly care for that. But sometimes it's a thing you can do. Let's head back upstairs. And go into our little bedroom area. We'll maybe put a flower pot here and here. And we'll put maybe just a flower in one. And a birch sapling in the other. I love Yeah, you know what? We'll just we'll just stick with the birch. We'll just stick with the birch sapling in both. I love the way the birch sapling looks. It's so good. It's just so good. Okay. Now um, let's make a crafting bench and put that maybe in this corner. 
and then we'll make a couple of chests and I'll put one chest maybe here and the other chest here just so they're kind of you know at the foot of the bed so that when people do sleep here for some reason uh, if they need to stay the night maybe they're visitors from out of town they can put their stuff in here where it's nice and safe we'll maybe put uh, maybe we leave the crafting bench alone maybe we put another flower down here just to kind of basically what we're trying to do here is just kind of fill this space a little bit and maybe we break up the symmetry maybe we kind of break it up and just put you know some some random flower pots in here and there just kind of doing some of these things maybe this is like a shelf above the bed right something along those lines could be kind of cool maybe we put some spruce Ooh, that's nice that's nice i like it we do some shelves like that up here for people to put their stuff on top of it yeah that looks good that looks really good in fact and then let's just try let's try a couple of paintings I think I'm only gonna have the two beds so let's just try a couple of paintings in here as well and we'll maybe put one like there and one like here no not there maybe up here Maybe this side doesn't get a painting. Or maybe it does. Maybe it gets that painting. I like that. That'll work. Okay, how do we get out of here? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm lost. Uh, no. No. Give me a one. Give me a one that hasn't been used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks alright. Okay. So we're just kind of filling the space. That's basically what we're doing. Uh, we've still got a lot of space left, obviously, but it's not all bad. Maybe here we put a little table with the thing there. Maybe here we put... Uh, no, not right there. Maybe in here we do the same. That's not bad. I think all in all, this is actually turning out pretty good. We'll maybe put some of these guys on the floor. Just kind of, we're just kind of sneaking them in around. You know what I mean? Just trying to make it look interesting. And it's it's okay to kind of spam some of these things at times. Uh, maybe that ends up being a crafting bench? No, 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 no. I would like to work a crafting bench somewhere into the design. Maybe we put it here as like a doormat. Right? So that's like your your floor mat. You walk in and it's right there. You kind of walk over it. It's not bad. And the space is pretty much filled. We'll get a banner design for this, for, uh, for Altum at some point. You know, do something with that. And I think that'll be good. Um, in fact, we probably, I, I already have kind of a pretty good idea of what I want to do. I just need to gather some wool so I can actually make banners. Um, maybe here we'll put something else right maybe we put like a a pressure plate down right here and an empty cup or like an empty thing here something like that or maybe we put a a poppy in there um over here we could maybe have another little seating area so we do something like that Am I out of oak stairs? I feel like I'm out of oak stairs. Let's fix that. There and there. You know, we get kind of this little, this little type thing going. And I think then maybe another armor stand. Just one. Um, need more stairs, or need more sticks. Armor stand. And we'll put that one right here in front of this window. And maybe we put a chest on that side. 
and a flower on the floor down here. And then we put maybe a rug of some sort right here in the middle. I think that would be okay. And that little table there. Yeah, that's good. That's good. The idea is to basically keep everything from being boxy, you know? And this is... It's kind of a spammy style in some ways, but I like it. It's very busy, uh, and it's very interesting, and that's the big thing. It keeps things interesting. This floor and the top floor, I think I'm going to deal with at a later time, because I just don't really feel like dealing with them right this moment. Because uh, I have I am, unfortunately, out of time for this episode. But guys, uh, I'm going to put a, a straw poll in the description again, kind of like we did for the music, about a texture pack. And I just want to, it, basically it's going to say, use a texture pack, uh, don't use a texture pack, or don't really care. And if I do use a texture pack, it would be one that is, uh, as I talked about early in the episode, very, very similar to vanilla. Um, I'd have probably a couple textures from this, I'd probably have a few textures from a couple other things, and I'd have some textures that I made myself. And the goal would be that it would be extremely similar to vanilla. Um, almost to the point where you really could barely even tell that there was a texture pack applied. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll definitely see you next time.